so hey everyone welcome back to placements ready so in this video we will be solving a very basic problem on graphs that is the starting point of learning graphs which is print adjacency list so we are given an undirected graph with v nodes and e edges create and return an adjacency list of the graph zero based indexing is followed everywhere okay so if you see here we are having five vertices and seven edges the edges are listed here so if you see the graph node 0 is connected with 1 0 is connected with 4 so the output at index 0 is going to be 1 comma 4 similarly 1 is connected with 0 2 3 and 4 so at index 1 we are having vertices as 0 2 3 4 similarly 2 is connected with 3 and 2 is connected with 1 so we are having 1 comma 3 now for third vertex it is connected with 1 4 and 2 so the output is going to be 1 2 and 4 similarly for the node 4 4 is connected with 0 4 is connected with 1 4 is connected with 3 so our output is going to be 0 1 3 so i hope you have understood the problem let's see what is an undirected graph and how to print adjacency list for the same so here if you observe 0 is connected with 1 okay so a uh, undirected vertex is that if there is a vertex x y that means x is connected to y and y is connected to x itself okay so let's see how can we make this adjacency list basically for that what we will be doing we will be doing a map of we will be taking a map of int comma vector of int okay you can take a 2d vector as well that will also solve the purpose so now here what we use we will be taking the edges okay so simply let's say this is my map m so m of x dot push back y so this will create a edge like this okay so x is connected with y similarly what we can do we can do the same thing with m dot push back x so it will create a edge like this so in this way our purpose will be solved so let's start the dry run on this so 0 is connected with 1 0 is connected with 4 so what will be getting at 0th index so we will be getting this kind of thing and 1 will be connected with 0 after this so let's maintain the map as well at the same time so 0 is connected with 1 and 1 is connected with 0 now if you take this edge 0 is connected with 4 and 4 is connected with 0 so 0 is connected with 4 and 4 is connected with 0 similarly if you take this edge 1 is connected with 4 and 4 is connected with 1 so 1 is connected with 4 and 4 is connected with 1 if you take this edge 3 is connected with 4 4 is connected with 3 3 is connected with 4 4 is connected with 3 similarly 3 is connected with 2 3 is connected with 1 so let's update it accordingly 3 is connected with 1 and 2 similarly 1 is connected with 3 and 1 is connected with 2 itself and also 1 is connected with 2 here as well so 2 is connected with 1 also and 2 is connected with 3 also okay so i hope all the edges have been covered in this way we can update the map and at the end we need to return a vector of vector so for that what we can do we can simply use a for loop for int i equal to 0 i less than b because that many number of vertices should be existing we can simply let's say my vector of vector is a answer its name is answer so answer dot pushback how can we get this vector simply we can use m of i and in this way we can solve our problem so let's discuss the time complexity for this basically we will be processing each and every edge so that is going to be order of e okay because we will be taking one edge at a time and we will be updating the map updating the map takes a order of one time generally okay but since there are e v vertices we can say it is a v so it will be nothing but order of e plus v okay so that is going to be my time complexity the space complexity will also be same 
okay and yeah that's it for this guys let's implement the code so here we can take a vector of vector int answer and we can also take a map vector of int m now what we can do we can iterate on the edges for int i equal to 0 i less than edges dot size i plus plus let's say my current edge is pair of int comma int current is nothing but edges of i what i can do i can push her dot first her dot first will basically be pointing to my first element of the pair okay and similarly we can establish an edge like this m of car dot second dot push back car dot first okay in this way we will be updating the map once we are done with this we will be having number of vertices for int i equal to 0 i less than v i plus plus so if you take a map here it will be arranged in a sorted order okay so we can push that answer in my answer vector by just taking this into consideration okay and in the end what we can do we can just return our answer so as you can see our output and expected output is same let's submit this so this has been successfully been submitted here okay so so i hope you have understood the problem if you have any doubts write down your doubts in the comments and like this video if you liked it and subscribe to my channel for more such videos so there is a graph playlist in the description do check it out and learn from other videos of the graphs as well thanks for watching